All right, so you're thinking of joining a real estate team this year. Well, there's a few things you should consider before making that move, and I'm gonna talk to you about that today. So what's up, guys? I'm Enrique, uh, team leader with PRG Real Estate, brokered by EXP, and I've been running a team for 18 years now, right? So a lot of experience in running a team, and I've been fortunate enough to coach a lot of agents, and also when agents join our team, a lot of them have come from other teams, so I get to kind of hear the good, bad, and the ugly. So here's three things you want to consider before making a move to a team um, that I think are important. Number one is going to be the culture of this team that you're joining. And really, how do you find out what the culture is all about? And I think it's very important to go spend some time with this team before making that commitment. Because what's going to happen when you spend some time is you're going to kind of see how they run things. You're going to see what the vibe is like in the office. You're going to see what the other agents are like. Um, are you guys in the same age group? Do you guys listen to the same type of music? Um, you know, are they you know professional enough to your standards, right? All those different things because you're going to spend a lot of time with this team, um, you know, collaborating, being in the office, working on deals together. You want to make sure you feel at home. A big thing that we do when an agent is considering joining our team is we have a pre-screening, kind of a uh, a phone call before uh, anything. We want to see kind of where their mindset is at, but then we. First, invite them to our office, to our Tuesday team meeting. And at our Tuesday team meeting, they get to kind of get the full-on experience of what it's like to be on our team. They get to see you know, how I coach and lead the team. They get to meet some of the other agents. They get to see what our office looks like. And then they're usually going to stick around for a few hours after and kind of just you know shadow and kind of see what the team is like. That has been one of the biggest things uh, that has helped filter out people who may not be a good fit for our team. And then what's going to happen is normally, naturally, people will filter themselves out, right? If they like the vibe and the energy, then they're going to want to kind of take the next steps of the interview process. If they don't, then they'll usually not call you back and they'll usually go somewhere else, right? So if you're considering joining a team, you need to get a sense for what the culture is like because you're going to be spending a lot of time there. Now, the next thing you're going to want to consider, guys, is what sort of training, mentorship, and resources does this team have to offer you? Unfortunately, I meet with a lot of agents who came from other teams where they're not learning anything. There's no one helping them close their deals. There's no support on the administrative side. It's really just a loose collection of agents getting together and calling themselves a team. Um, and that is not okay. When you join a team, you want to make sure there's a lot of resources that you can tap into. Uh, on our team, you know, speaking from our experiences, when an agent joins our team, there's a whole mentorship program they got to go through. There's a 90-day plan. There's an onboarding process. There's a whole kickoff to launch their, their business. There's you know multiple admins. There's admin support on the back end. There's marketing support. There's virtual assistance. There's so many things happening in the background to where we get to take a lot of these things you know off of our agents' plates, and we get to also uh, give them a roadmap of what they have to do to be successful. So you definitely want to find out all the details of you know the training the mentorship and the resources that the team provides now the last thing that i'm going to touch on guys is is the team that you're going to join are they providing you with opportunity and are they helping you build your business in the long run um, for us guys when agents join our team we're bringing in 400 500 leads every single month from you know different partnerships that we have so there's a lot of opportunity coming into the team where any agent joining our team is going to be able to tap into you know, potential clients who have raised their hand saying, I'm looking to buy or I'm looking to sell. Uh, it's especially beneficial for an agent who's just starting their career where they don't have a huge network. They don't have a huge database or maybe they haven't built the credibility yet with their, uh, with their friends and family you know, to get them to trust them to do business with them. So having a team that you can come on to and there's immediate leads uh, and opportunity that's coming to you is crucial. The other thing to consider in the long run, right, is, uh, is the team that you're joining going to help you build your business in the long run. And this is something that a lot of agents don't know is when you join a team, there's a lot of teams where there's one main lead agent who is the team owner or team leader, and everything is based around that agent. The name of the team is the John Smith team, right? You are never going to be John Smith, right? John Smith is John Smith. So you got to think about in the long run. Is this going to be somewhere where I can continue to build my business? Um, can I branch off? You know, can I eventually start my own team, or can I climb up the ranks within this team? You know, and really, where is the future uh, for me on this team, right? 
a lot of team leaders take all the credit for the production as well uh, to where all the deals have to go under John Smith's name, right? So you're not getting that track record built up you know, on your, you know, your Zillow profile or your MLS profile. On our team, we strategically created our team as PRG where it's just the name of the, of the movement, it's the name of our culture. But within our business, you know, we're helping every agent on our team build their business, build their online reviews. They get credit for all the deals that they close, all the transactions go under their name. They're not going under the team's name. So in the long run, we are helping these agents build their business. So if they wanna grow with us, or if they eventually decide to leave our team, or even if they want to expand and open up another branch or something like that, we have those opportunities. So there's a ton of things that you should consider when joining a team, but I would say these are three major points that you're going to want to look into. Um, guys, if you guys have any questions about joining a team, building a team, just any business questions that relate to real estate, feel free to reach out and I'd love to point you in the right direction. Talk to you soon.